Pandu See, Nehru was still, I, I believe, I think an idealist. Right. I think he didn't even have to worry about getting votes. Right. Because he was yeah. getting the votes Very anyway. Popular. Okay. Correct. I think the successors started worrying about getting votes. Mm -hmm. And then they, they went very far and they went ridiculously far. Yeah. And uh, he then developed into this freebie culture. I think uh, the freebie culture in the economy wise and then the reservations in the educational and social sectors yeah. was all part of this. I mean, I grew up. I was a kid going to school and college in the height of the so-called socialistic pattern of society. Right. And even in the middle class family that I grew up, uh, it was not a very pleasant experience because there were severe shortages of everything mm -hmm. in the 1960s and early 70s and things like that. And when you have, you see, you must have a balance, Sharon, because there is the, the middle class finally, as they say, is the backbone of any society. Yeah. The very rich and the very poor, sorry to say, don't count yeah. in the long run as far as the country moving forward is concerned. Yeah. I think what was happening is that because the socialistic pattern of society went too far, the middle class also started getting demoralized. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is okay to say, all right, we've had a rough time and you know we've still got to make our way forward. Yeah. But then the, the people in power, the government of the day, has to make people feel, all people feel, right. that they are stakeholders in this vast land. Right. And I think this was totally absent. I think the very poor are so poor that I think they weren't, weren't even able to realize, I mean, getting through the day itself, people didn't have two square meals a day in those days. So it was very bad. It was a, would have been a challenge for any government. Yeah any government. And I think, uh, let us say in all fairness to Mrs. Gandhi, after 67, when many regional parties started getting power in the states and so on, and when she was forced to go to the communists for political support in 71, yeah. I think even she was walking on eggshells. Right. You know, for the India is a very difficult country. I mean, such a big country, so poor, and uh, we were not yet aspirational. But would have been a challenge for anyone. Right. But even given all this and giving them all this kind of benefit of the doubt, I still think they abused the constitution right. and tried to make the constitution or their amended version of the constitution. I mean, especially outrageous is the introduction of those two words, terrible words, uh, secular and socialist. Yeah. Uh, and a very controversial circumstances during the emergency. Yeah. So doing all those things are distorting and using then this amended constitution as a uh, alibi, literally, for all sorts of what I would now call wrongdoings. Yeah. I think that was, that was immoral. 